The Tech Museum of Innovation here in San Jose, California is on the cutting edge of exploring the human body. They have hosted Body Worlds and the Three Pound Gem, Body Worlds Vital, and now Body Worlds Decoded. With the help of an augmented reality device, you can now move around the human body and explore the organs of the body. You can even participate in live demonstrations of a 3D virtual dissection used in the nation's top medical schools. The bodies and specimens on display here were preserved by Dr. Gunter von Hagen's Institute for Plastination, which created Body World exhibitions to help people better understand the human body and its functions. Hi Mel, welcome to Body Worlds Decoded. I'm Lisa in Katashado and I'm going to show you around the exhibit and including our iris device which is augmented reality in which we can explore another layer of this exhibit. So okay, come with me. me. Alright. Great. So I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to give you a few sneak peeks of what's uh, here for you with iris. And again, this exhibit is free with admission. You don't need to reserve a separate ticket and as well as this augmented reality device. So here, next to our skeleton, you can see we have an expanding skull. And all the different colors of the skull represent the 22 different bones that make up your skull. And you can see it shrinking back into space. So you can see how they all fit together to make up our cream. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a virtual reality here? So this is, yes, augmented reality. And um, if I put down the device a little bit, you can see that there's not actually anything in the space. You can right. really see it <laughs> uh -huh. using the iris device, and it knows where we are from these sensors on the back. Right. So we've scanned the room, and we've placed these amazing models mm -hmm. around for visitors to explore. And we can move around it? So we can, can yes. Steps over here will change the view of it? Yes. So it's not something where you would treat like an iPhone, where you pinch and zoom. Mm -hmm. uh, to get bigger, you actually have to physically walk closer to make it bigger. Wow. Right now, I'm kind of inside and I can explore the different bones and watch how they come back together. Uh -huh. Good. Show me something else. Great. Okay. So I don't know if you saw this before, but we have these connect systems that capture your body. And so it should pick me up. And right now I can see what I would look like as a nervous system. And as I move forward and back, I can see the different systems of my body. So this is kind of like a it's not an x-ray, is it? No, so it's, um, and you can see the muscular system. Let's mm -hmm. see, and you can tell it's not me. <laughs> okay. um, yes, this is clearly not me. Right. <laughs> I wish I had this many muscles, but this um, system yeah. is just capturing me. I'd like me. to try this. Can yeah, we capture me? please. It might not understand what your camera's doing, but there you are. Wow. You can try moving forward and back to see different systems. It, oh, it's got my digestive tract yeah. right now, but it does not have my camera. <laughs> no, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't recognize objects. Wow, that's objects. wonderful. Yeah. Okay, let's that's go. A lot of Keep fun. Going. And so I want to show you one of my favorite models, which is the eye. So if we head to the nervous system section, we have an eye, and you can see it moving. And we're seeing these six muscles move the eye. And if we get closer, I want to show you something really cool. So we are looking, and again, I'm moving, I'm not pinching or zooming, but it's like a real object in space. And if I push inside the eye, now I can actually see the inside and actually look right out the pupil, which is really fun and a spectacular surprise for most people. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. And over here we have... The baseball player? Mm-hmm. So we have eight full body plasmids in Body Worlds Decoded, including this baseball player. And so you can really see the way he's posed. You can see all the different muscles that are used to stabilize your body when you're swinging a baseball bat. And again, all of these um, bodies were donated to the Institute of Plastination while the people were alive for this very purpose. Mm -hmm. And over here we have something extraordinary. This is kind of a, an exploding man. Yeah, so this is another full body plastinate. It's called the Singer. And it's in the respiratory system, and you can really get a great view of the lungs here, as well as the diaphragm. And this person is posed mid, mid high note, I like to think. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so you can really see, yeah, the expression on their face and the power that it takes to, to really sing and project your voice. Okay, let's go around back and view what's next on the list here. And 
So in addition to um, AR, we also have these incredible um, touch screens you can play with and explore even deeper into very specific um, systems and body parts. So we have some presets that can just get you started. So if you're kind of wondering what something very specific was called, you can actually zoom in, turn, and click on something to get a better idea of what is that? Oh, this is a thyroid gland. Or mm -hmm. if you had a specific condition that you really wanted to you know, find where it is in your body. Again, it's a very, as um, we were talking earlier, a very personal thing, body worlds. You can talk about your own conditions, like we talked about our scoliosis. <laughs> and we actually saw that on view. Um, what I think is really interesting is the more you visit body worlds, the more things that you learn about your body and the ones you love. And it can be a really great touching off point for mm -hmm. those discussions, as well as preventative discussions if you want to talk about um, maybe with kids or, or students, you can really show them the difference between, you know... This is a bad lung, yeah. a smoker's lung, and this is a healthy lung. Which is incredibly powerful to see it in person, you know, kind of recognize what it does to your insides. Right, okay. So we have some people checking things out too. <laughs> and then... Uh, you can see I'm getting closer to one of these balloons, and this is how AR works, is it just the markers, and you can see now it's popped into a model of um, some heart and the bronchial tubes of the lungs. And so we can move around to the front to see the beating heart, which I think is pretty beautiful. Wow. So this is just, again, one of the benefits of using AR. Um, as you saw, the plasmids are beautiful, but we, don't, we lose the motion. Mm -hmm. um, so you can get a real good understanding of how the heart moves, how the digestive system works, how the eye moves. Um, so it just provides something different you can't get in the specimens. Mm -hmm. And as well, um, you've probably been noticing these um, yellow plus signs, and we can click on those for more information. So again, we can show things like an echocardiogram. That might be something our visitors are familiar with, and we can show the motion of that as well. OK. Great. And so, here we have yeah. um, a jumping dancer. Yeah, so again, another whole body plasmid. And it, um, this one really sparks a lot of conversation. Right, it takes a while to figure out. out what it is. The brain is down below. Yeah. It's been split mm -hmm. down the back, I guess. Yeah, so you can see the skull's empty and it's been peeled out the back. But it gives you a really great view of the hip sockets and the kidneys and the lungs. Okay. Great. And then maybe we'll head to the art area or, oh, yes, standing woman. <laughs> so again, this is um, another plasmid. And we do have some labels um, with the plasmids too that kind of help you identify by diagram what you're seeing. Now here are some parts that have been removed. Uh, pick some that we should look at. I'm sure. So I, I think the kidney is really interesting. Um, so in addition to the full body plasmids we've been looking at, um, there's body systems as well as specific organs that you can learn more about, including the kidneys, where you can see where um, blood is filtered and you can see the different parts of the kidney. And in addition to that, with our AR, it's not just um, models, right? So I've tagged this case. And so we can talk about kidney stones. That might be something our visitors have heard of and mm -hmm. are curious. And then we can also sort of look at other visualizations. This is a scan electron microscope image of a kidney stone. You can see how jagged the surface is and you know, kidney stones are quite painful. And <laughs> this, I think, gives you an idea of you know, why that might be. Mm -hmm. And then again, another kind of visualization where um, people use to find where a kidney stone is within the body. So mm -hmm. this is, again, how we can you know, keep the content mm -hmm. um, in body worlds. Mm -hmm relevant and ever-changing because since we're going to have this for 10 years this is another way we can keep updating things for our visitors. And here we have some reproductive systems. Yes, yeah, so both okay. male and female we'll just... and again with the uh, kidneys so you can see how that's all connected. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so this is, um, we're heading into the art and anatomy section and so here we have some five beautiful oil paintings by artist Lauren A. Toomer and um, it just shows the wonderful interplay that you can understand the body when you combine art and science. And then you can try your hand here to do a sketch and we have some drawing prompts um, and you can sit down and sketch a real heart. This is a specimen of a heart and we have um, some really great prompts for visitors to try if you are not so sure, you know, you don't, you don't have to be intimidated. We, Got you all set. <laughs> um, 
here we have an um, anatomage, which is a digital di dissecting table. Um, so really impressive um, universities like Stanford universities use this in their training. And this is an image of a real person that's been um, scanned into the system. Hmm. Could we do a cross section? Yeah. Yeah, so we can point out different features, but we can also um, cut the body, turn it, it's volumetric data, um, so you can take away and remove, and then we have it uh, mirrored above so people can see. Mm -hmm. What can you remove here? I can remove anything. So this is a liver. Right. I can remove that. That's gone. So now stomach is exposed. Mm -hmm. right? I can remove the stomach. This is your pancreas. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. This is your gallbladder. Right. And this is here. I mm -hmm. expose the kidney. Mm -hmm. Another the kidney. Of course, this is the intestine. Right? Mm -hmm. now and this what is about the head here? What right can you here. do with that? Okay, let me do, I think she suggested, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay. Just kidding, stay here. So that's the cutting tool, right? Yep, there you go. So now we can see. Oh, we're, so we're seeing it in a side view. Yeah, so he literally sliced the body in half. And wow. It so you can see, and this is what I mean uh -huh. by sort of that volumetric data that they can mm -hmm. rotate. And, yeah, huh. And it's in real color, so we can learn sometimes when they get cadavers. Right. Oh, uh, and here we have it. Uh, yeah, we can, can view it up here too. Same also. Thing. Yeah. What is this that we're looking at? This is a mirror image of you. Is this the. This is the these, are, these are the nose system. The white lines are basically nose system. Mm -hmm. Sensing our pain and bruises. Right. The red and blue are the blood carrying vessel and blood returning vessel mm -hmm. are the vein. Uh -huh. And then these are the lymphatic nodes right here. They fight the cancer, right. the olive. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your, your dissection uh, demonstration uh, here. No problem. Thanks. Okay. And now. Right. Yes, yeah, so now we are heading to the last section, which is the digestive system. Right. And okay. here we have what? Oh, so here are. Um, Oh, this is a... If we want to know yes. how we're put together from the chest down, this is it, yes. huh? Yeah, it shows you how um, all of the organs are packed together. Um, it's pretty dense, right? And I think so. Yeah, so you can see um, the liver, the stomach has that little cut in the side um, to the right that we're seeing, um, just so you can get a different view of it, and the lungs as well. And mm -hmm. yeah, It's really interesting to see, you know, everything you've seen in the cases kind of all put together in, in okay. one place. Yeah. Okay. And then here we have... Um, digestive tract all kind of spread out and see how long it is when you actually stretch it apart. And then with the AR, again, we can show movement that you can't see. So if you can see, the intestines are, are wiggling, <laughs> if you will. This and is it's what that you wave. call peristalsis, Yes, yes. So it's peristalsis. So if visitors didn't understand what they were looking at, they would tap these stars and it would bring up more, every now and then it's hard for me to get. <laughs> it would bring up more content information um, that tells you about peristalsis. Mm -hmm. Oh. And again, liver. It's good to see they're actually moving. Yeah. Yes. So that's what's happening in us, huh? It is, yeah. It, it pushes food throughout your, your digestive tract. Great. Okay, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, so, um, and then you can, you can stop here and think about what you've seen and provide us some feedback. Tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you can check out your return your iris device and then come back and visit us because things are always going to be changing over the next well, 10 years. This should be quite an aid for someone who wants to take care of themselves and improve their health, don't you think? Yes, for sure. It's a great place to learn and we're hoping that um, classes as well as families can visit and learn more about their bodies. We only have one. <laughs> How long will the exhibit be going on? It's going to be going on for the next 10 years. Wow. Yeah, but we're going to be updating it a lot, which is what we can do through the AR technology and change it, tell different stories and change it as the technology changes. We're going to be changing the art section um, as well as some of the plastics as well. So we're really excited to have it here as a resource. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much, Mel. Um,
Six three. 